Hey, it's Kyle. And one of the things I notice when I work with people is that if people tell me an egoic limitation, I often ask them to let me know how that's measured. And the ego can never do that. For instance, if someone tells me, I'd love to, but I have a fear that I'm not enough, for instance. If I go, okay, how do you know when you are enough? There's literally no answer. There's no line. There's no way to tell when you're finally enough. There's no like, I've impacted this many people. Uh, I make this much money. You know, the ego often screams out very vague things, right? The soul can tell you next steps very easy and it has a different type of gray area, but the ego likes to spew out very, very vague things, right? So when people say to me, like, um, I'm worried I'll waste my life, I often say to them, okay, how do you know that you didn't? Sometimes they'll even say, in a response to that, I know that I've changed a lot of people's lives. And I go, okay, what's the number that you know you've changed their lives? Like when you've, when you've affected 4,210 people, is it when you, right? Like these are the questions I kind of ask. And no one ever has an answer. And the reason this is so important is to know that there's no real fix to the limitation, which actually means the limitation itself isn't real because you don't have any for sure solution or outcome that makes it feel good. So if you're like saying, I'm worried that I'm too much, if I go, okay, what's less than too much where you're finally enough? Or when people go, I'm too little, I'm unseen. Okay, how do you know that you're seen? When, what is it? When my dad says good job, because that you've had that sometimes and it didn't work. Or when people like you, is that when you get a certain amount of likes on Facebook, there's no tangible answer that people have. It's really interesting. So know that when you have some vague limitation, if you just kind of start really asking it questions, you'll discover it can't answer them. And that's because shaming energy doesn't really have anything that it ever accepts as enough. Shaming energy is here to be shaming energy. And there's nothing you can do to ever get shaming energy finally to see you and finally proud of you because it would actually be death to the shaming energy itself. So remember that next time you say, I'm worried I'm not loved. How do you know when you're loved? Well, when 20 people buy my product, is it when, uh, you know, you get a raise at work? Is that when you're enough? Because I've seen a lot of people get the things that they thought they need. And then when they get it, they're even sadder. So we can take in the idea that the limitation must be a lie. And you might as well throw it out.